Hello, 4K friends. Today is Wednesday, December 9th. Can you get out nine fingers? How many more would you need to put up to have 10? Just one more, right? Ready? Boop! Now there's 10. Tomorrow will be number 10. Today is nine. And today, I want to share a new story about the three little pigs with you. So the author of this little book, has, her name is Sarah Prince, and the illustrator, his name is Peter Paul Bayer, they imagined what would happen after the story of the three little pigs was done. Remember, in the story of the three little pigs, at the beginning, all the pigs made houses out of different things. And then in the middle, the wolf kept blowing down their houses, but he couldn't blow the brick house. And at the end of the story, the wolf fell in the pot of water on the fire and he ran away. Right? So Sarah and Peter imagine what would happen next after the wolf runs away. So they wrote this book called Mr. Wolf Tries Again. There's the three little pigs. I am the big bad wolf. The very big, very bad wolf. I have a plan. I am going to catch the three little pigs. How's he going to catch them? Look, there's the brick house. All the pigs live in the brick house now because the wolf blew over the straw house and stick house. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins, said the little pigs. Look what the wolf's holding. He has a stick, doesn't he? Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, or I'll bash and I'll crash and I'll smash your house in. Is he going to use the stick to bash the house in? I think so. He's trying. It says thud, thud. He's banging on the house. So I bashed and I crashed, but I could not smash the house in. That didn't work, did it? Now what is the wolf holding? He has a hammer. That's bigger, right? Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins, said the three little pigs. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, or I'll bash and I'll crash and I'll smash your house in. Thump, thump, thump. He's trying. Do you think it'll work? Ugh. So I bashed and I crashed, but I could not smash the house in. He even has a band-aid on his tail. Do you think he got that when he was in the pot of water? And hurt his tail. <gasps> He's going to try again. He put down his hammer and he went to get a log. Is the log big? Yeah, that's big. Do you think he can get the door knocked down with that? Let's find out. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins, said the three little pigs. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in or I'll bash and I'll crash and I'll smash your house in. He's going to run to the door with his big log. I ran up to the door. <laughs> I ran through the house. I ran out the back door and I fell down the steps. Bash, crash, smash, yow! Oh, those three little pigs. They are so smart. They opened the doors. So he ran right through the front door, through the house, right out the back door. And now he fell on his head. Ouch, my poor head, I said. But I'll be back. The end. Oh my goodness. That big bad wolf doesn't give up. He really wants to catch the pigs. What do you think he would try next time? I don't know. Maybe you have some ideas about that. Today we're going to be talking about some more measuring in math. We're going to talk about long and short. And I have a letter Q fun activity for you. 
and a letter Q story for you. So I will see you later for those.